Back here on 2 News at 5, new details. The Camus child book author accused of killing her husband appearing in court today ahead of this week's scheduled preliminary hearing. Corey Richens was arrested about one year ago. She's accused of giving her husband, Eric Richens, a lethal dose of fentanyl. Amanda Gilbert live at the Summit County 3rd District Courthouse with what she learned from today's hearing. Amanda. Brian, today's hearing started just after 8 this morning here. It didn't last long, about 10 minutes, but Corey Richens was in court today. A more stoic expression on Corey Richens' face today compared to past hearings. The focus, preparing for the preliminary hearing this Wednesday. Ms. Richens, good morning. It's been a little over a year since Corey's murder arrest. This week, we may get an idea of whether her case will go to trial. On Wednesday, we're expected to hear at least two witnesses in court. We'll likely learn more from testimony and evidence. Corey's family, during interviews with CBS's 48 Hours, claims she is innocent. For anybody who knows Corey, she could not have done this. She'd never do this. But Greg Scordis, the spokesperson for her husband Eric Richens' family, has maintained Corey is guilty. Law enforcement and the investigators in this case left no stone unturned. Corey's case gained national attention. She wrote a child book about grief after her husband's death and before her arrest. While updates on this case have been quiet for several months, we should be getting a better idea of what's to come this week. And in the courthouse today, I'd say there was about a dozen people there. It was mainly just family and media. We will be there, though, for that preliminary hearing. It is on Wednesday in just a few days at 9 in the morning where we should be getting a better idea, hearing from some witnesses and getting some possible testimony and evidence. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News.